another win closer to perfection. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. The Wildcats are inching closer to a 40 and 0 season. They easily beat the West Virginia Mountaineers tonight in the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament. The next step, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame in the Elite Eight. WIMT's Jamie McCracken joins us now with the highlights as we begin our Big Blue extended team coverage. Jamie. Quote, they're going to be 36 and one quote. They should be more intimidated because they're the ones that got the high standard and we're coming for them. Well, Dexter Miles Jr. This is the part where you cover your eyes. Roll the highlights. Huggy Bear and the Mountaineers, John Calipari and the Wildcats, two good buddies hooking it up here in the Sweet 16. Now, Hugs is eight and two all time versus Cal. First half we go, Aaron Harrison. Buckets. The assist from his twin bro, Andrew, UK up five. Coach Huggs, really mad. Later. All right, bro, my turn. Andrew drives, stutter steps, drives some more, gets to the basket. That's good, and it's getting ugly. Kentucky up by 14. Tyler Eulis now. Marcus Lee. Take another look. Poor Devin Booker here. Lee just goes right over Book. Cats up 16. Man, you don't dunk on your teammate. Come on now. Nine minutes to go in the half. Trey Lyles. Oh, man, the size of Kentucky just causing all kinds of problems for WVU. It's 25 to 8. Coach Huggs is not even mad now. Just like, all right. All right, poor old Booker. He got dunked on earlier. Now he's wide open in the corner by himself. He'll take it. He's locked and loaded. He had eight first half points. UK had a 25 inch height advantage just in the starting lineup. Poor Billy D. Williams finding that out right here. Willie Cully, Stein, and Lyles. Welcome to the double block block party. My goodness. Cats pulling away now and just piling it on. Andrew Harrison up to Cully Stein for the dunk. Kentucky at 44 18 at the break. Dax, if you're reading this scoreboard, sorry, it's too late. Kentucky is in the Elite Eight. So tonight's UK West Virginia game was the hot ticket in Cleveland, a sea of blue and the arena as Big Blue Nation traveled through Ohio to watch the Wildcats. WYMT's Josh McKinney and Tanner Hesterberg are on the road with the team. They join us live from outside of Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland. Tanner and Josh, uh, the atmosphere, what was that like? Well, I think the worst part of the game, Josh, for UK <laughs> fans was having to walk out into the chilly condition sports. But for now, he's Josh McKinney. I'm Tanner Hesterberg, live in downtown Cleveland, reporting for WYMT Mountain News. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. So let's take a look at who Kentucky will play next. You heard Tanner and Josh talk about it already. The Elite Eight game is set in the Midwest region. It will be Kentucky. It will be Notre Dame. The Wildcats and the Fighting Irish will meet up for a chance to go to Indianapolis to play in the Final Four. Game time is set for 8.49 p.m. Eastern time on TBS. Of course, that'll be Saturday night. And you heard that, you know, Tanner said that they would spread them out. Well, Notre Dame shot 75% from the floor tonight, 75% from the floor in the second half. That's incredible in basketball terms. I mean, if you're shooting at a clip 45% to 50, that's unbelievable. 75% mm -hmm. in the second half, that's unbelievable. So you heard, like I said, Tanner uh, say that they would spread them out. Five guys, uh, meanwhile, tonight for Kentucky and double figures, Trey Lyles, Aaron Harrison, Andrew Harrison, Dakari Johnson, and uh, oh, Devin Booker. I know that's your mm -hmm. favorite player. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think anybody thought it would be a a massacre, as Tanner said, it really was just a dominating performance by UK tonight. Yeah, West Virginia it was a 13-point underdog, and to lose by that many points, I mean, Kentucky definitely covered, and it definitely looked bad from the get-go. I think Josh, mm -hmm. you know, mentioned one of the people that said it, it was bad from the opening tip. It really was. Mm -hmm. I mean, they only scored 18 points in that first half, and they had 19 for about most of the second half. So. Uh, the defense really stepping up, and you could tell, especially with Devin Williams picking up those two fouls early for West Virginia. He's one of their bigger guys. He goes like 6'9", 240, and he was foul, you know he already had two fouls within the first three minutes of the game. He was out. Kentucky goes right inside uh, in the paint and scored a, a lot of points. I, I don't know what the paint points were tonight. Maybe we'll find that out before uh, sportscast. But. A lot of folks going into the tournament, uh, one team mentioned that could give UK trouble is Notre Dame, mm -hmm. uh, one of two or three teams I heard mentioned that could give UK trouble. Yeah, they shoot the ball, you know, very, very well. Like I said, 75% in the second half tonight. But I still think a lot of people also looking at Arizona and Wisconsin. Arizona yeah. still playing Xavier really tight right now. But yeah. those two are a lot larger teams. You know, Notre Dame will try to spread you out. They're not going to beat you with size. Of course, I'm not mm -hmm. sure any team can beat you with 
size. Kentucky, uh, nobody can really match up with them. But it, it could it could cause problems because they're going to shoot the ball better than West Virginia did tonight. Um, you, you'd think it'd be a think. little closer than tonight's yeah. game. We'll uh, see. They shot 24% <laughs> from the field. I, anybody, if you can't shoot better than 24%, I mean, I don't I, I feel bad for those guys because they drove a bus up to Cleveland. They didn't fly. So that's right. a long trip back to Morgantown, West Virginia. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, yeah. Jamie, thank you very much. It's on to the Elite Eight. And just this reminder, we are standing by for uh, Coach K. All right, back here with Jamie McCracken. We understand the UK News Conference about to begin. Let's go back to Cleveland Live and hear from some of the players. We were going to just, if we, we could score 100, score 100. All right, that wraps up uh, UK's news conference here about uh, 1250 in the morning. Uh, but Coach John Calipari obviously has to be pleased tonight after such a lopsided victory. And, and you were telling me some stats to illustrate just how lopsided it was. Yeah, say Kentucky did not score a single point in the second half. Say, say they just scored zero points. <laughs> they still would have won by five. That's how bad it was. Um, he, you heard Coach Calipari talking about the Harrison Twins tonight. They mm -hmm. combined for uh, 25 points, so about a quarter of the points came from the Harrison Twins tonight. And uh, just one other thing, going back to Aaron Harrison's dislocated uh, ring finger, he actually ended up popping that thing back in. Um, so like Cal said, it would probably be pretty sore, but at least it's not dislocated. They should so. be good to go for Saturday, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, Daxter Miles, the guy who talked all the trash and said, you know, UK doesn't play hard and all that, 0 for 3 tonight. 19 minutes, 0 for 3, mm. zero points. So, yeah. And then, of course, we had Aaron and Andrew weighing in on Twitter tonight saying, you know, little talk. You know, they, they always talk until they play. So uh, Nobody uh, really, I don't think, had a bad game tonight. Uh, town's mm -hmm. a little quiet, as Cal mentioned, but uh, a good game all the way around. Yeah, five guys in double figures. Trey Lyles, Andrew, and Aaron Harrison, uh, 13 and 12 for them. Then Dakari Johnson and uh, Devin Booker. Uh, Dakari with 13, Booker with 12. He had eight points in the first half, a couple of three balls. Um, so, yeah, there, a lot of guys are playing really yeah. well. Cartown's a little off again, but, I mean, this team is just so, so deep. Yeah. I mean, when you go to the bench and you've got Trey Lyles, Dakari, Carl Towns, Willie Colley-Stein, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It really is. It, it really is the size and the length and the height and how much depth he has. So, quickly, uh, again, it's on to the Elite Eight now. Uh, Notre Dame, they're going to play the second game on Saturday on TBS. It's going to be an 849 tip. So, once again, in prime time. Yeah, that's right. I, we were talking about it earlier in the newsroom. That's what the TV people like to do is put, you know, the best and the most interesting things on TV at night. That way it helps out the West Coast as well a little bit. Um, but I'm sure plenty of people will be staying up because at this point they're 37-0. and 0. They've got a lot of people watching them, not just uh, Kentucky fans, but all over the nation. This team has really capped, you know, captured yeah. a large audience. So with that 849 tip, that means the game should be ending right about 11. Of course, we mm -hmm. will still have 11 o'clock newscast here on YMT, so you can flip it over. We'll have the post-game news conference again live. So should it works fun. out, works out pretty well. All right, Shane, give us the weather. <laughs> You want me to talk weather after sports? I mean, I'd rather sit here and talk about the game. Man, that was a great one. But uh... this is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Going into tonight's Sweet 16 game with West Virginia, Kentucky was 36 for 36. Four wins away from not just a perfect season, but a national championship. However, according to WVU's Daxter Miles Jr., this would be the last game this unblemished Kentucky team would play, saying, quote, they're going to be 36 and one. It's OK, Dax. We understand you feel like the disappointed girl emoji on your keyboard while scrolling through your Twitter mentions tonight. I'm sorry, man. Here we go. Huggy Bear and the Mountaineers. John Calipari and the Wildcats. Oh, it's the two good buddies hooking up. Uh, Cal is actually 2-8 and eight all time against Hugs. So not good there. First half, Aaron Harrison. That's good. UK up five. He's happy. Coach Hugs, not happy. Later. All right, bro. It's my turn. Andrew Harrison ditched it off to Aaron. Now it's Andrew taking it by himself. Getting a basket. It's getting ugly early. Kentucky up now 14. Tyler Ulis up to Marcus Lee. Wee! They like it. Poor Devin Booker. Take another look. He gets dunked on by Lee. Cats up 16. Nine minutes to go in the half. Trey Lyles, the size of Kentucky. Just causing all kinds of problems. It's 25 to 8. It doesn't look like the press or anything was working. It wasn't. 
All right, now poor old Book. Of course, he got dunked on earlier. Now he's over in the corner by himself, and he's locked and loaded. He had eight first half points in the game. UK had a 25-inch height advantage just in the starting lineup. Billy D. Williams getting a piece of that. Yeah, Willie Colley Stein and Lyles. Welcome to the Twin Towers block party. Another look. That's nasty. Cats piling on now. Willie Colley Stein. Kentucky up 44-18 at the break. If they had not scored a single point in the second half, they still would have won by five. Dax, if you're reading this scoreboard, I'm sorry, man. It's a little too late. Kentucky is in the Elite Eight. So, with that being said, let's go to Josh McKinney. Our Signed up to play Hoops Hysteria. On Back to you. Thanks, Josh. Those stats were right. And also, first time in Sweet 16 history that a team has doubled up. It was 78-39. to 39. Yikes. Greg Marshall, Wichita State, and Notre Dame. Here we go. Kentucky will play the winner. First half, Pat Connaughton. Pat Connaughton. Look at him. From the outside, then back door. Notre Dame up 13. All right. Ron Blake, be like, I've had enough of this. Three ball there. And then Baker. Oh, he's cooking. Back to a three-point game, but Notre Dame wins and advances. First time in school history uh, this school has been to the Elite Eight since 1979. So here we go. You've heard it a bunch of times tonight. Elite Eight game is set in the Midwest region. It will be Kentucky and Notre Dame. The Wildcats and Fighting Irish will meet up for a chance to go to Indianapolis to play in the Final Four. Uh, the channel, it'll be on TBS. The time, it'll be at 8.49 p.m. Eastern tip time, and that will be tomorrow or Saturday. Well, it is tomorrow now, Saturday, March 28th. Uh, you see Notre Dame 32 and 5, Kentucky 37 and 0. Now, up next, two more college basketball highlight packs to get to from the West Region Plus. Lax highlights. UPI plays its first lacrosse home game of the year. The Elite Eight is set in the Midwest, now out to the West bracket. Four teams, Arizona, Xavier, Wisconsin, and North Carolina all in action tonight. Let's start with two seed Zona playing six seed Xavier. Here we go, TJ McConnell will start us out. Let's first get these coaching ISOs up because that's what you got to do. There's Sean Miller for Arizona. All right, first half, TJ McConnell. Get out of my house. Arizona up two, and here comes Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Oh, get out the way. Arizona up by four. Later, it's Matt Stainbrook for Xavier. Works in the post. Lay up the foul. He likes it. He can see through the goggles. 14-13 Xavier. Later, Stanley Johnson. Yeah, so a lot of people got him as a lottery pick from the corner. That's easy. Now it's Miles Davis finds Jalen Reynolds. Woo! Arizona, though, still up by one later on off the inbounds play. D. Davis finds Matt Stainbrook for the short jumper. But as you will see, Arizona ends up advancing. They win by eight points. North Carolina taking on Wisconsin in the West Region Sweet 16. Interesting note, Trayvon Jackson, first game back in 20 games for the Badgers. Winner will play in the Elite Eight. First half. Hey, that's how you get it started. Jackson gets it, throws up a three, hasn't missed a beat, it seems like. Later on, it's the Cheese State by one, now by three. Sam Decker. Sam Decker. Oh, he went all out. New career high tonight for Decker, 23 points, 10 of 15 from the field. Okay, got some inside game. He was just all over the place. Time winding down the first half. Decker, offensive board, the putback at the buzzer. My goodness, Olivia Munn, Aaron Rodgers, they're enjoying it. Wisconsin advances, they win by 7, 79 to 72. Five previously scheduled home games for the U-Pike women's lacrosse team canceled due to weather. Well, this yesterday afternoon, the Bears finally hosting their first home game in school history. Head coach Mallory Stockwell helping get the women's lacrosse program started on U-Pike's campus. The Bears taking on Hendricks out of Arkansas. Hendricks scored the first four goals of the game before Lacey Turner got U-Pike on the scoreboard. Turner actually finished with two goals herself. Taylor Bustle finished with four goals for the Bears, but the scoreboard, not in favor of the Bears. U-Pike couldn't overcome the deficit. Hendricks gets the 17-7 win over the Bears. Um, we're 
we're just we're so excited to get out here and play. Um, Hendrix is a very solid D3 team, so I mean, we've seen improvement every single game we've played. We haven't had the scores we wanted, but we have athletes, and I told kids I can't teach you to be an athlete, but I can teach you how to play lacrosse, and I think it's working so far. So we're definitely hanging in, and the girls love it. I've just wanted to mention before we go tonight, I, I mentioned the tweet that Andrew Harrison put up tonight. He said, a lot of talk and a lot of tweet until they dot, 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 play. There you go. There you go. And the story, right? <laughs> I, I just want to say, I think we made history. I've never seen La Eastern Kentucky lacrosse highlights on Mountain <laughs> News, so I think that was historic. That is awesome. Thanks I for Lauren wrong, Cash. She's really interesting. She did a story on them a couple weeks ago on Sports great. Time. That's yeah. yeah. And then we got some highlights. I hope they, you know, continue to get better as well. I know they fell to LMU before this game, uh, but they've won a couple. You know, it, nothing like starting up a, a program uh, yeah. like that in Eastern Kentucky. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Pretty All cool. right, Jamie, thank you. We'll be right back.